welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell, we are in the van, which can only mean one thing. We are on our way to somewhere new and exciting. Today, we are on our way to Aston Hill. I've kindly been invited by Ian Warby, who's sort of the director there. So hopefully we, we go check the trails out, have a laugh, have a bit of a laugh racing, and uh, yeah, let's do this. Oi, oi. Right and guys, so we have just arrived at Aston Hill. As you can see, I'm parked in the road because the car park is full. So I actually think that's quite a good thing because it means there's gonna be plenty of riders here, which is gonna be a good laugh for tomorrow. I think my first race here was 2003. It's an old school venue that, you know, back in the day that I came here as a junior. So I'm actually really looking forward to racing here. So I'm just gonna gear up, gonna get my bike and I've actually got a little uh, something up my sleeve to assist me in looking at this track. So. Uh, Let's gear up and go check it out. Downhill bike, trail bike. No, I don't think I should actually. Right, I've got no shame in admitting. I'm just going to take the e-bike for a quick run just so I can have a quick look at the track and have an easy pedal back to the top. If you've got it, you may as well use it. Right, here we go then. So we're just going to use it just to check this track out, to be fair. Cat lines not have to worry about using up too much energy coming back up. What a useful tool this bike is. So I've basically quickly had a little rundown. I've stopped. The advantage of doing it on this bike is I'm still deciding, you know, I'm fortunate enough to be in that position, but I can't decide whether it's better on, on the enduro or the downhill bike. So obviously the downhill bike is as sluggish as it feels. It obviously gets a lot more grip than what the trail bike would be purely because you've obviously got that extra bit of suspension travel and in places it is quite rough so you know you could get down on a trail bike not a problem but obviously I'm looking to go as fast as I possibly can I think from that perspective it might be better on the downhill bike but we'll try both and see what happens. Hey is it gonna hate as you can see I'm breezing up the hill on this thing it's insane as I said I'm not gonna race it but the main reason of bringing this just means I can get a couple of runs in mow the track and then go and get the uh the actual bike rather than these cheeky bikes but you know, there's definitely a purpose for these things that's for sure so i've done a few runs on the e-bike i'm now on the big rig so uh let's check it out give it a little blast well this is a lot quicker on a real bike rather than some e-bike no doubt the uh, climb up won't be though Oh God. What an overtake. So fun! First run down on the big bike and wow what a difference that is to the E. So as you can see the top half of this track is very pedally. I think a trail bike would be the dream. Unfortunately due to the bottom half being slightly technical in places I feel a downhill bike is just going to give me a tad more grip. I think what I'm going to do is practice on the downhill bike and just see what's going on. So I'm really fortunate enough to be in the position I'm in. So I've done a run of the downhill bike. I'm still umming and ahhing, so I'm going to get the Sledderoos out, I'm going to give it a go and see. Like, I love that bike, but as I said earlier, the whole thing I want to do is try and be as quick as I possibly can be. So obviously on the route section, in my eyes I'm thinking the downhill bike's going to offer me more grip, but that thing's definitely going to go off the line fast. I'm umming and ahhing about trail bike, downhill bike, trail bike, downhill bike, so I've just thought, let's just buy the bullet and ride the sledderoos to see what it's like my only issue would be it's probably not going to grip as well towards the bottom but the top half it should roll like a steam train all right let's check out what the sled does so straight away it rolls definitely a lot better than the downhill bike the bottom half that i'm sort of i was a bit optimistic about and even like here, just the grip. So 
before this it will roll better for sure actually incredibly smooth on this bike but let's go back to the drawing board good morning people now basically it is race day today it's the sunday so really looking forward to having and sending the gnar unfortunately it rained slightly last night so hopefully it hasn't affected the track too too much i checked the footage last night and i think it's actually going to be slightly quicker on the downhill bike that and the fact that i normally ride my trail bike so just to mix it up and uh yeah hopefully have a sick day right just got the number board let's get the rig out put her on go for a little pracky right so we're now on to do another practice run before racing so let's go send it here we are oi 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 and even at oi oi what a voice rapid he goes on the right way exactly that's the one right let's take the big rig for a little little thing in practice let's have it That is the end of practice. Practice went really well. Now, unfortunately, got this soul-destroying hill climb to make. That's where e-bikes come into it. So we go and chill out for a bit, have a bit of food, and then we start racing in a minute. So let's do this shiz. On that factory, the orange kit's coming out now. Either that or I'm just sweaty right through and I don't really want to wear this anymore. You decide. Right, on our way to race runs then. Right, I've prepped the beast. That's me, and I've prepped the bike. Uh, wearing the orange kit so every every mad dog and his uh, mates can see me. And now we're on our way to the race run, so wish me luck. So I'm gonna film a race run, so you probably won't hear me giving any commentary other than breathing out my ass this time, so let's check it. We are just about to drop in for our race run. Are we going the next beach? Yeah. Yes, please. Go up to the line, please. Cool. There's always one, mate. Both go for the line. Yeah. Black right, let's yeah. have it. <laughs> right, you just want to put it together. Right. <laughs> There we go. Right, just done run one, just pushing up now. Right, so I've just come up after run one. It went pretty well. Um, unfortunately, the gears slipped towards the start, so I was stuck in gear two for slightly longer than wanted. So I'm currently running second. I think it's 0 0.4 off the win, which I'm not too bothered too, too much about because it's all about the second run. So a uh, bit of lunch, second run, let's have it. Cool. So as you can see, there's been a bit of a delay. Um, there's been a number of injuries today, unfortunately. It is a really fast, high speed course, which obviously means if you do come off, it's going to be quite high consequence. So 
thoughts to these guys and cheers to the medics. So unfortunately there's been two quite major accidents where we're probably going to have to have air ambulances in. So we're going to use this time now just to have a look at the track, try and find those point whatever of a second and send it for second run. And here we are on our way to our final run of the day. The uh, rear shot could probably do of a service but one of them things can't really moan. Hopefully I can pull it out of the bag, get a bit quicker. Worst case, I've had a good day. All about the fun last, and uh, let's check it. We're in commentary. Here we are, just about to start the final run at Aston Hill Bike Park. Thank you to all the lovely marshals, medics, organisers. Oh, there we go. That's hard, that is. With a time of 117.09, it's Ben Deacon. <laughs> the winner with a time of 116.74, so just a second off the fastest time of the day, was Paul Hanks. Well on your cave, man. Yo. Well, there we go, sports fans. What a sick day here at Aston Hill Bike Park. Really happy to get second in my category and I believe fourth overall out of 320 riders. So really cool times. Thoughts going out to those guys that got injured. I think there was a couple of serious injuries. So healing vibes, boys. Um, in other news, it'd be really sick if you give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Be even sicker if you guys could subscribe. Please let me know in the comments if you want me to do similar videos. Let me know how to improve and hopefully we can get onto it. And until then, I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace out. Oi, oi.